Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Fang Friday. This is Ross Healy, the chairman of Strategic Analysis Corporation and a senior portfolio manager at McNichol & Associates Asset Management. The world has changed, and it has just done so in the past two or three weeks. The world of artificial intelligence, AI, has suddenly become the thing, the thing that everyone is starting to want a piece of. And I expect that it is going to take us for a wild ride. Now, before you say it, let me say it. Yeah, I know AI has been around for some time, and that's true. But it has only been <clears throat> the last very few weeks that suddenly it has really hit the market's apperceptive mass. And it has now carried the stock market in the personage of the NASDAQ 100 into bubble territory. It's front page news. It's excitement. It's the promise of great things to come, of massive new wealth springing full-blown like Venus from the forehead of the market Zeus. Already analysts, and I use the term advisedly, as the term charlatans is what actually springs to my mind, are falling all over each other purporting to be able to forecast the massive gains in wealth that are coming from the application of AI. And if history is any guide, which I suspect it is, forecasts which have yet to be made are going to top those already highly optimistic forecasts in the hopes of making headlines and being quoted in the press. That's the beauty of this AI thing. Anything can happen and no one can disprove even the wildest of forecasts. <laughs> it's kind of like the Mississippi bubble two centuries ago. Who knew what was there? But it's pretty darn big, so you'd better get your piece of it now. New daily highs are dominated by AI stocks, or those stocks which are trying to be associated with AI. And in the end, this is going to be anyone who is anyone, as every company tries to get a piece of the action. And I suspect that things will become increasingly frenzied in the period ahead. Shades of the dot-com era. Only the names have been changed to protect the unawares. If I'm correct, this market, or perhaps I should say the AI stocks, have a long way to go, both up, now, and down, later. The NASDAQ has broken out over its bubble price, that's 7.4 times book, and we have now obtained the necessary confirmation from the Standard & Poor's 500. Assuming that it holds, then we will have a confirmed technical breakout by the overall U.S. market which means that there could be a fair way for the markets to run. Anyway, before we take a close look at the fangs and what's been going on, as always, I do like to say thanks to everyone who likes this video and all our subscribers. It really helps to grow our channel. Now, before we take a look at the stocks, today I want you to focus uh, on that fair market value level and its trend. What you will see belies uh, the stock price trends. And this is going to be, I think, a major long-term issue. We'll start with NVIDIA, which has broken out to a new all-time high over its HB6. That's 33 times book value. And when stocks break out over long, long, long-term highs, they tend to run quite a, a long way. But for all of the great demand for its chips, look at the trend of the earnings. Microsoft, which uh, in, in, I think in many respects could uh, be considered, I don't know whether you'd call it the father of, uh, of AI, but uh, through its uh, chat GPT, uh, has been in a very nice uptrend. It has not uh, broken out over its HB2, 
As of yet, I expect if the market continues the way it is, it's likely to do so. But again, if this is the one of the leading AI stocks, um, as we uh, as, as as the book, uh, which was written many years ago, said, where are the companies, uh, the customers' yachts? Where are the company's earnings? Amazon has broken out over its bubble price. And uh, what I find very interesting about that, besides the fact that its fair market value trend has been a, in a kind of a, a walking down stairs um, uh, kind, of, kind of pattern, What's interesting about that is that um, uh, if you uh, overlay the uh, the Nasdaq 100 on top of uh, Amazon, they are virtu virtually a perfect fit. Um, since a breakout over the bubble price would usually call for a move to at least the HB1, which is a nine and a half times book, uh, and I think that is probably where the Nasdaq is going to go, if uh, not higher. I think you can use uh, Amazon as a proxy for the um, for for the Nasdaq. Alphabet is um, breaking out. It's it's kind of struggling right here at its mid super growth price, isn't it? At uh, five and a half times uh, book value, and uh, small wonder when we when we when we look at the trend um, of of its of its earnings forecasts. Uh, not much. However, it's part of the trend, and I expect that we're going to see the bubble price before things are finished. Apple, well, Apple hasn't really got much to do with uh, the AI trend at all, uh, has it? But what Apple does have is an absolutely massive market capitalization of almost, uh, well, $2.9 trillion. And it has been f f tracking its HB6, again, 33 times book value, uh, beautifully, despite the fact that its fair market value trend has been virtually flat. The stock is up 28% so far this year. Meta, of course, uh, is, the, is, is one stock where we can actually see quite a spike. In the um, in in the fair market uh, value trend, because uh, Zuckerberg uh, r realized that uh, his overfocus on Meta uh, was uh, was was killing the company, and he has now promised that uh, uh, he is going to get that back on side. Uh, I would suspect, if you look back in history, that um, the three times that um, Meta has reached its bubble price. Uh, I think that's going to happen once again. That probably uh, will be it as well. But still, it has got some ways to run. Netflix, which has nothing at all to do with uh, AI as far as, as far as I know, uh, nonetheless is kind of keeping up with the boys. And uh, it's broken out over its bubble price uh, again. Uh, look at that fair market value trend. Uh, I, I had thought that the bubble price would be it uh, for the recovery, but uh, 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 apparently hope springs uh, eternal. And uh, their new move into uh, advertising, which promises to be a very small part of their earnings, nonetheless is propelling the stock higher. The almost the kind of the, the mystery company, uh, if if you like, uh, has to be uh, Tesla. I mean, look at that uh, trend of the fair market value. It's in the automotive business. Um, uh, it may claim some AI, um, but uh, that's the business it's in. Nonetheless, uh, that stock is breaking out as well, making it virtually a clean sweep. Now, in summary, what are we seeing? The NASDAQ 100 is now in an incipient bubble condition. And what I might now call the AI stocks are all breaking out. Led by NVIDIA, 
we have now seen Alphabet and Amazon following suit. I'm surprised that Microsoft, almost the founder of the movement, hasn't been stronger, but is to have a good head of steam. Meta, if it hasn't already, will probably claim AI status and continues to go higher on the promise of rebounding profitability. There are three non-AI fangs, Apple, which I'm sure will sooner or later try to claim some AI parentage, continues to hold up nicely on its buyback program. It's not exciting anymore, but with a market cap of almost $3 trillion, everybody owns it, everybody believes in it, and no one dares to sell it. Tesla is tailgating the market as its own fundamentals are steadily weakening. Maybe along Musk will now claim that its cars are being guided by AI, and I suppose to a real extent, maybe they are. But so what? It's an automotive manufacturer and a recession is coming. Still, it wants to keep up. Finally, Netflix has burst out over its bubble price on the expectation that the company has found a new source of growth and profit. You can't see it in the earnings and the fair market value measure, however. That makes a virtual clean sweep of the fangs in strong uptrends or at key breakouts, a tidal movement which I would advise any bears not to get in the way of. Every company worth its salt is, or shortly will be, claiming to employ artificial intelligence somewhere in their business. So hang on, the fun may be just getting underway. One final and important consideration for you, if you are considering buying any of these stocks, the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500 are close enough to their key breakout points. So to the, if this breakout is just a feint to draw in the greedy and unwary, as some are suggesting, your downside risks are very modest and you will be able to bail out, bail out with only very minor losses if the NASDAQ retraces its footsteps back to and then below the bubble price. For the Fang Friday viewers who are not our clients and don't have access to our index charts, watch Amazon as your sort of canary in the coal mine. For now, this has been Ross Healy, Chairman of Strategic Analysis Corporation and a Senior Portfolio Manager at McNichol & Associates Asset Management, reminding you that nothing, including investing, is difficult if you have the right tools. I'll see you next week.